really been a very rewarding experience. Um, things are always changing. When I first came here, it seemed like, well, Dr. Potts, who was a pathologist at the time, was so proud of his new lab that was only two years old. CMMC is, we're a family, we care and look out for each other, not just the lab, the whole hospital did. And, you know, through the years things have changed a lot, with a lot of growth.
many of the staff here have worked in this laboratory for, you know, 20 something years. We've been talking about new space for quite a long time. And um, we've always fairly, remained fairly current on our instrumentation. So it's not like the analyzers were old and outdated, but certainly the, the layout and the space that we were working in was antiquated hadn't been really renovated at all in the clinical part of the lab since it was built in the early 70s. We started talking about renovating our current space probably about 10 years ago in seriousness, but realized quickly that we were landlocked and that we could address some of the infrastructure needs, but we wouldn't gain any more square footage. Finally, got approval um, and then started the process of design. And I call this a home because of the family that is the CMMC Laboratory. Uh, you know, a group of caring and dedicated scientists and clinicians and support staff uh, sing to it that great, great work it's done every single day for our patients and for quality patient care. And we, uh, we owe you an incredible debt of gratitude. You know, the work that happens in a laboratory sometimes happens kind of quietly, kind of behind the scenes. Uh, but I, I want to make sure that you all know how much we recognize the critically important role that you play in all the care that gets delivered in this organization. You know, I was thinking that when we celebrate the nine or 10,000 people per year who get admitted as an inpatient to this hospital, or the 50,000 people per year that get cared for in the emergency department that we're celebrating this week, uh, or even the 400,000 visits per year that occur in our physician office practices, it really pales when you look at the million tests per year that are generated by, by this laboratory. So there's barely a patient that we interact with that isn't benefited from the diagnostic work that, and therapeutic work that you provide. Uh, it's so critically important. and. Uh, I don't have to tell you, you deserve this space. I'd like to recognize the laboratory staff. Uh, it's clearly the finest laboratory staff that I've ever worked with. It's the smartest, uh, the most dedicated, and the most experienced. And I think with the opening of this new laboratory, uh, like Laird said, we'll now have a, a physical facility which matches the high quality of the people who work here. Thank you.
amazing that the lab did not close and we moved within less than eight hours. It was sort of seamless, uh, not entirely seamless, few little glitches, but I think overall um, everybody pulled together uh, and just really got it done. All the areas got lots of space, but I think um, probably micro uh, microbiology has seen the biggest change. They seem to like it a lot. Bank. We've loved having our new, our own pneumatic tube station. About a week after we were here, we had our first massive transfusion protocol initiated, and so that's kind of a test of how well did you lay things out, how efficiently you can work, and it went very well. Phase two is more of a demolition. Um, phase and then the phase three when we'll all be back in the same building right now we're in four different places will be the completion of anatomic pathology and cytopathology so that will be the spring of 2012.